Hey guys, what's going on? Lucky here. So, um, I'm going to give you a rundown on what got accomplished on the tr on the Chevelle. Oh, good new sign. So, uh, a friend of mine sent me a message said he had a sign floating around. And uh, if I wanted it, he would bring it by and drop it off. And he brought it by and dropped it off. I mean, honestly, why wouldn't I? I'm gonna hang that somewhere, it'll be kind of funny. Maybe I'll put that by the Colonel. The Colonel's back over there. Maybe it's time for the Colonel to come out, either way. So uh, here is the Chevelle, 66 Chevelle. Um, been trying to get this thing ready for a little bit of fun. We did an episode on it, on the show, where we did some upgrades to it. Uh, last season, we, Honestly, tried to burn off a full set of tires one day at Willow Springs, me and Tony. And we were unsuccessful. Uh, since then, um, the tires have gotten mighty thin. So I need to do some changes there. But when I put this motor together, it's a 6.2. Originally, it was built for a uh, boost. So the rings are gapped, has forged internals, new pistons. And uh, it, it became boost o'clock. So it now has a V7 YSI a Vortex Supercharger. Um, we went back and forth on the pulley. I don't remember what pulleys ended up. I think it's like a 2.95 on the upper and I believe like a seven on the bottom um, to get the boost up. It has um, 16 injectors of which I'm only using eight. Uh, tick Performance Intercooler that is going through some dash 16. Bosch pump is underneath this reservoir, circulating through the heat exchanger in the front. Cools the air down and then uh, dumps it back in the tank, or no, dumps it back. The cold air goes directly into the intercooler, sees a little bit of heat, returns into the reservoir, the pump through there. Seems like the most efficient way to do it. It also runs on E85 now. Um, there is a sensor located underneath my roadkill installed regulator right down there. I gotta figure out how to mount that thing up and kind of see it. It's a GM E85 sensor, corn squeezins, and uh, it samples a little bit of fuel and then determines what percentage of E85 or pump gas. Uh, what percentage of V85 basically is in the fuel system, at which point it uh, adjusts accordingly, uses the multiple tunes that are in it. Um, when you run an E85, it moves, you have to move a lot of fuel. So there has been a fuel upgrade. I was going with Rick's tanks and I used the pumps that they sent me and everything, but there was an availability issue on components. So um, I picked up one of these offline. Um, I think we paid pretty good money for that little hat right there. Took off the stock one. This one has a, a bucket on this side underneath it that has two pumps inside of it that are rated at 500 liters per minute, I believe, or hour, LPH per hour. So two fuel pumps on this side and then one lift pump, which is a Dietz Works 400 is filling the reservoir that's inside the tank here so that these two can then pressurize that and move it forward through the corn fed or uh, uh, E85 friendly hoses that I installed, all new hoses. Um, it's a good amount of volume that's getting moved, but uh, yeah, it works pretty good. I drove it yesterday. I only got the nine pounds, but it was a fun nine pounds this thing is kind of cool it has a fill neck right here or fill cap right here o-ringed sealed has a rollover valve inside there so pretty happy with that plus it looks pretty cool um that's a vent right there on the left that's a return line i want to put a 90 on that also and that's the pressure side out I installed a couple more relays 
mounted on the side of the battery right there. I gotta hook up one power supply and one trigger so that when this thing starts seeing more boost and needs more fuel, the ECU will then turn on the second fuel pump. So that's kind of cool and I'm just not gonna say anything about that right there. It's not actually hooked up just yet, but it's going to be. And uh, what else? Did all that. Let me just, while we're here, Six McGann sitting right here. What's up there, Six? So I'll fire this thing up. Thanks you guys, stay safe out there.